Something is causing the Yellowstone supervolcano to stir in its sleep. A swarm of some 200 earthquakes have been detected beneath the slumbering giant since February 8th. The number of accompanying tremors is countless. Given the earth-shadowing power of this supervolcano, which is capable of covering much of the United States under a thick blanket of lava and ash, it's enough to raise some serious eyebrows. But none of the quakes have been huge. The biggest came in at just a magnitude 2.9. This means the shake was just strong enough to be felt by some people, but there was no damage to any structures. And the underground movements that caused them are not likely to have any impact on the 60 billion cubic mile ticking time bomb of molten rock that we know of. The United States Geological Service says most of the flurry of activity came in at a depth of about five miles near West Yellowstone, Montana. Earthquake swarms are nothing new, especially in Yellowstone. They can be triggered by a shift in pressure along the fault line. This can be caused by changes in the amount of nearby subterranean water or gas, as well as movements of magma. Yellowstone has an excess of all three. Now movements in the massive tectonic plates that shape our planet's surface can also play a part. One of these is also at play under Yellowstone. The National Park Service says that on average Yellowstone is generally shaken by between 1,000 and 3,000 earthquakes every year. But last year, 2,400 earthquakes registered on seismic sensors between June and September alone. The biggest quake last year was a magnitude 4.4, a strength people would feel but not likely to cause anything more than minor damage to buildings. So far, the biggest recorded quake in the supervolcano was a magnitude 7.3 in 1959. Dozens of people died in landslides. At that level, most buildings within the affected area were seriously damaged or collapsed. Now, some believe that the real threat comes from a more traditional but still extreme earthquake, something in the area of a magnitude 7, for example. When they do happen, they're going to shake the region pretty severely, so people should be prepared for that, a scientist went on to say. But the fact that there is a supervolcano right there will continue to play on everybody's mind. Now remember this supervolcano blew some 630,000 years ago. Most of the current national park sits in its enormous caldera. Its ancient ash and lava flows can be found over almost all of the continental United States. Now at last experienced an eruption, a much smaller one about 70,000 years ago. When it comes to supervolcanoes, there is yet no way to tell when an explosion is due. One thing's for sure, the activity under this supervolcano is definitely picking up and could be building to something very big. Leave your comments below this video. Thanks for watching.